If you're one of the many Americans that are searching for your dream home but are frustrated with the state of the current housing market, the lack of inventory, you might want to stick around because I've got Rob Grolo from VIP Mortgage on the line. He's going to talk to us a little bit about renovation loans. Rob, it's so good to see you. You too, Justin. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. So let's talk about the basics. What is a renovation loan? Yeah, I love talking about these because renovation loans are really a way for people to make improvements to their home, whether it be a purchase or a refinance, and, and they can actually access equity that they don't have yet. They can do the improvements that they want to do, even though they may not necessarily have the equity at the time they purchase a house or even since they've owned a house. And this is different from a home equity loan, to be sure. How does this differ from a normal conventional or FHA loan? Sure. In a normal FHA loan or a normal conventional loan, the only way you can do any improvements on a property is if you have or built equity into it. A, a, a renovation loan allows people to tap into that equity that they've yet to got or yet to build. Um, so it allows people to actually finance the improvements and base the loan off of the future value of the home. So everything, whereas now it's, it's the, the, the renovations are done on the property as is it sits. This isn't like that. It's as if that work was already done. So people are able to, to finance in all the improvements that they want to do now instead of having to wait 10, 20 years while they build up equity or the property appreciates. You're literally tapping into future equity in your home. Yeah, you're built, well, it's not so much you're tapping into the future equity, you're actually building future equity right now. So the property, whereas it's a, a home equity loan, the property's appraised as it sits right now. The, the renovation allows you to do that appraisal based on the property as if all those improvements were already done. So you're really, you're building your own equity at that time, as opposed to having to wait for it to build over time. Okay, so what types of things are you uh, permitted to improve upon or improvements can you make uh, with this type of loan? Oh my goodness, that list is almost too large to build. They could be something as simple as like, you know, just getting new carpets and a few cosmetic improvements. You could do major renovations to the property, redoing kitchens, bathrooms. You could add on a room if you wanted to do that. Um, you could even add that, that pool that you've been wanting to or that gazebo in the backyard in some cases. You know, not every loan, there's, since there's two different types of, of conventional and FHA types of loans, not each one will allow all the same things. But between the combinations, you can do just about anything that you want to do out there. So what sort of special qualifications or loan limits uh, need to be met in order to qualify? You know, that's a great question. And that's one of the things that makes me so excited about these loans is it allows you to, if you, can, if you qualify for a conventional loan or you qualify for an FHA loan, you're automatically qualified for this renovation loan. There are no extra qualifications, no extra guidelines or, or things that you need to meet. Uh, the only limitations that are on to it are what you would qualify for on a normal FHA loan or a normal conventional loan, nothing extra. So uh, who can do the renovations? I mean, do you have to hire a con contractor or can you do it yourself? You do need to have a contractor involved. This isn't a DIY project. Um, this is the type of thing that we actually, because you're gonna be paying the mortgage on this loan, they want you to continue doing the work you normally do on your day-to-day -day basis, as opposed to swinging that hammer and doing those improvements. So you do need to have a contractor involved into it. Um, in some cases, there could be a HUD specialist as far as an advisor to work with you, but you're gonna be working with the professionals or having the professionals work for you to get these things done. And I'm sure you wanna make sure that it's also done right too. I mean, DIYers, you know, they might know what they're doing, but to have a certified contractor and there's a whole different story. Yeah, there is, there is. And this is a professional loan and they want the professionals to, to get it done for you and do it right. So you don't have those risks, you don't have to worry about overruns or anything like that. Those can be taken care of throughout the loan, but they definitely want to make sure that the, that the professionals are doing the work for you. I'm just curious, we got about a minute and a half left here, but uh, sure. how, how common are these loans? Are you seeing an uptick in the number of people that are asking for these types of loans as the uh, housing market continues to have uh, low inventory? Yeah, especially now. Um, people are getting really frustrated because they're not being able to express in that, that 250 to 350 price range. Kind of, you know, there's competition is so big out there right now and there's such a small inventory that people are really choosing to stay in their existing home and make the improvements onto it and turning it into the dream, home, dream homes or they're actually taking and, and looking for that, that fixer upper right from the start and looking at those homes that are 90, 100, $150,000 in price range that are but are in good neighborhoods with good sized lots and then building them into what they want. It's really opening up and, and giving a wider spectrum or a pool of homes out there for people to look at because they're out there right now. 
And for those rent, those those refinance people, you know, again, they're the ones that that because that inventory isn't so big, they can't find that perfect ready-made home for them. So they'd rather just convert the one they're comfortable in and, and turn it into the one that they want. All right, in about the 20 seconds that we have left, if someone's watching right now and they say, by golly, I think a renovation loan might be for me and they want to give you a call, what, what are the steps to get started? Absolutely, it's a great thing. So just yeah, absolutely give me a call. You can reach out, email me, you can call me, 608-218-5801. It's a direct office line. Um, we'll be happy to get your information. We start a little application. We talk about what you want to do and then start putting together the plan to fit what you want. What I want, what somebody else wants, doesn't matter a whole lot if it doesn't match what the people want, the individual. So we want to make sure we're putting it together to fit what they want. Rob Grola, always a pleasure to have you with us here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great. Don't go away. There's more after the break.